Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we have the pleasure of watching Jonathan Haggerty versus Monko Patch. The Thai fighter was a 130 pound champion at Lumpini Stadium. That's pretty much all you need to know about this guy to know his pedigree. Pretty much everybody is familiar with Haggerty at this point from England. Very skilled striker now competing in MMA and kickboxing at my weight class, actually. I love the enthusiasm from his corner, the advice. You can tell this is uh, pandemic times because it's so easy to hear the corner. Maybe a little clash of heads there. Nice elbow from Haggerty. This fight is at 135 pounds. Oh, dropping elbow and beautiful, beautiful sweep there. Uh, again, lovely work from Haggerty. Just looks like he's picking this opponent apart at the moment. Has his number. Most of what Hegarty throws is textbook. So clean, so crisp. He has since moved up from 135 pounds to 145. Filled out quite a bit. Looks like he's very comfortable at that new weight. Teep down to the thigh there, good way to control. Nice angle off the fence, staying out of danger for too long, or for a long period of time there. As soon as your back touches, you angle. You're just so much safer. Great movement there. Pump the knee up for the front, front kick fake and then followed with the hands. I suppose that's one way to deal with your foot getting caught, just, just fall. Oh, nice body shot up to the head hook. Definitely Haggerty's round so far. Interesting how he has almost like an up-down bounce, does Haggerty at certain points, just when he's on the outside. Ooh, dropping in that tomahawk elbow. Again, starts with the front kick fake and then follows to the hands. Beautiful first round from the Englishman. Let's see if the TIE fighter can get some more happening now. Definitely bringing some aggression early in round number two, but gets tossed to the ground. A little bit of a hook behind the leg there. Not sure that was 100% legal. I feel like the Thai fighter, Monko Petch, I believe, has to learn to take a little step back on those fakes from Haggerty. That friend kick fake instead of standing your ground, a little step backwards would be beneficial. Great move there again. I feel like people, Thai fighters, especially from guys who are Limpini champs, once you start beating them as a foreign fighter, they get upset. And you can see right now that Monko Petch is starting to get a little, a little angry. He's starting to truck forward. It's their sport. Remember, their national sport. They do not like being defeated by Ferengs. He's on the hunt now. Oh, looks like he finally has Haggerty in some trouble. Haggerty not taking that little step off. I like the switch that Haggerty does. He steps back, goes to the south pot, and then walks right through back to orthodox. If Haggerty was behind on the scorecards in round two, I feel like he's got himself back into the round. Took a big cross there, though. Not sure why he's letting Monko Petch let the, uh, get those body hooks off without countering. It's uh, 
It doesn't look good um, uh, to the judges and, and definitely it's got to eat away at your energy systems. But this round's still up for grabs. Oh, Haggerty pointing. He probably cut him with that elbow. Nice sharp movement. It's being good, good on the evasion right now. Uncle Pet still pressuring forward, doing his best work when Haggerty stays stationary and gets his back against the cage. There we go, round number two completed. We move into the final round. Again, the former Lampini champ pressuring early in the round now, knowing he's behind on the scorecards. Good turnaround from Haggerty. Both fighters are cut. But they both look like they're in safe spots, not draining into the eyes. There's a little step back from Haggerty and then he steps forward. Stuff like that when you're researching a fighter to prepare to face them that you got to know about. As soon as he steps backwards, you're like, okay, I know he might step forward. So either cut an angle or step backwards yourself. Take that away from them. I love this fight. This is a really good one. Surprised we haven't seen Mongol Pitch let the legs go a little bit more. Maybe that's not his area of expertise. Maybe he is more of a, a boxer. It's not something you see as much. But I actually don't know. I haven't seen him fight before, as far as I'm aware. But he is being very heavy handed. Does a nice job down to the body, just not having loads of success yet. Sort of finding that timing. It's just more straight pressure when Haggerty lets him. It's been a fast paced fight. Both fighters taking a little time off now. Both looking a little worse for wear at this point, which makes sense considering they're fighting in these four ounce gloves. Ooh, that one there, right on the back of the shoulder. A step back there from Haggerty, just keeping the distance perfect. Once again, he does that step back, step forward thing with his left foot. Ooh, that was nice. In some good movement now, you got to figure that that round three is his, round two closer, and round one for Haggerty. I don't see this going any other way. And both these guys got some good bruises on their face. And yes, it is the win for Haggerty. Wonderful fight to watch, and I can't wait to see this guy back in action, whoever he's going to face to defend either his kickboxing or his Muay Thai title. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I'll see you back here very soon. Look at these guys for another video.